Good morning. Today's video. This is my alarm bell box. I don't work for Yale. I don't have anything to do with them. Now, this alarm came with four batteries. Batteries were fitted. Six months later, they were flat. So I changed them. Six months later, those batteries were flat. So I've come to change them again. And as I've taken the, battery, the old batteries out, the good quality batteries, the spring terminals, these, of which obviously should be one there and one there, have just snapped off. Now, the batteries were good batteries, GP, but it looks like they've leaked on the bottom. And I've no idea why. But either way, that, they're rubbish. So, I can't be having to do with getting ladders and changing the battery every six months. That's ridiculous. So today, task is, fit a rechargeable battery pack, run a piece of wire from here so that I can power and charge the battery pack permanently from a main supply. And the charge of that comes with is a little USB thing. So I'm just going to run a couple of, going to solder this positive onto the positive terminal, negative onto the negative terminal, then another couple of wires which will run out of here and will ultimately connect to this charger and then the wires will go in via the loft and I can always just keep this charged up. It seems to be the only way of doing it. But the first thing I've got to do is get these wires out and they've used hot melt glue. So I don't want to break that seal so I'm going to have to get rid of this glue here and I've tried pulling it off and it's not going to move so I'm going to use the old desoldering station, hot air desoldering station just to soften that up and get the wires out. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so a few moments with the rework gun. So I can now, well, attach the wires onto here, do it neatly, do it properly. So I shall do that back in a moment. A bit of further investigation has revealed that this, this is the power connector. And all the wires absolutely corroded. That's, it's, well, as you can see, there's no copperness there at all. So I'm going to have to do something about that. I tell you. Manufacturers who do cheap shit like this, they should be held to account for it all. Probably very difficult to see this. But there's, there is corrosion. On the connector. I mean, this this alarm is 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 really well sheltered from the elements. It really is. But Yale, if you're listening, your bell box sucks. Okay, so the the, the first mod I've soldered the wires on. I'm, um, I've put some heat shrink on. I haven't shrunk it down yet. But that's the first mod I've done. So that deals with the corrosion problem. And then what I will do is I shall just inject some grease into there. I can stop any water ingress. So that deals with that. So now we're going to connect the battery pack up to there and put the two wires which will go to the external charger. I've drilled the hole right through the battery box here so I can put this nice neat good quality two core flex yes it's complete overkill but it's it's good quality cable so then I can simply attach the USB charger to the end of that and that will then charge the battery as and when I need to so perhaps if I just plug it in every once every three or four months and charge the battery up. Problem solved. The, the, bigger, the bigger worry I've got is just making sure that I can keep moisture, etc., out of this. And why those batteries have leaked. And if you've got one of these alarms, and I'm quite happy with the alarm. It's, uh, 
I forget the model. There we go, that's what it is, an ACBX. It's part of the smart alarm range. You might just want to check your battery terminals. So that's the hole I've made. Just there. Um, yeah, don't use your soldier iron. It's not, not the ideal use of a soldier iron. But there we go. So I shall now feed that into there and I shall put a knot in it. Just ever stop it pulling back through. It's only carrying 6 volts DC at about 100 milliamps. It's not going to cause a problem. Okay. And then they will attach onto the battery and these terminals. And I shall make sure that these ends, the other ends are isolated. Make sure that it can't possibly short out. But there we go for the moment. She'll do that now. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll solder all this lot up, lot up and then you can have a look and see what I've done. Had to make a hole in the top as well. Um, but as I say, this is actually, it's, it's under the gutter. But I'm still going to silicon this, so that's where that cable will come in. You'll not notice it, and I don't care anyway. Um, so, yeah, you have to do that as well. Okay, so that's the positive side of the battery, connected to the positive power input on the alarm, connected to what will be the positive power input on the charging cable. Now I've just got to repeat that with the negative fix the battery in there, probably a drop of hot melt glue, seal it back up, just seal the holes up that they'd sealed up with hot melt glue again, just to stop any potential water ingress as much as I can, and then um, we'll test it and we'll see what it does, but so far that's all been relatively straightforward. Okay, we've connected it up and we have a heartbeat. So that's all encouraging. It isn't armed at the moment, so the tamper won't go off or anything. But there we go. So that's got power back into it. Now that's a 2400, 2.4 amp, uh, 6 volt battery pack. Um, 15 quid off Amazon. And the fact that I won't have to get the ladders to change it again after this last time is, is, is worth every penny of that. So yeah, there we go. Um, we'll put it back together and we'll just, we'll just charge it and, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so there it is. All back together. This will be siliconed. But I say it's under, it's under a gutter anyway. So the only thing you'll see is um, four inch of wire. And it's, it's solved the problem completely. So yeah, well worth doing. Yale you really ought to look at doing something like this give people the option even a little magnetic charger at the bottom so they could charge an internal battery you know a little little magnetic connector somewhere so they can just connect a, a battery to it and it'll charge um, yeah be a much better idea than the the current system shall we say anyhow I hope you found that useful